do you really need pressure? If the benefits of hyperbaric oxygen are really coming from the oxygen itself, can't you just breathe oxygen at the surface, that's what we call it, surface pressure, from a green tank of oxygen or from a concentrator, and ultimately get the same benefits from breathing oxygen at the surface as you would breathing air or oxygen inside of a chamber? And the answer is no. You actually do need the pressure of the hyperbaric chamber in order to get these benefits, but why? Most of the research is showing us that it's not just the quantity of oxygen, it's this wave of increased and decreased oxygen exposures that really signal to our body most of the changes in terms of cell regeneration, in terms of increased immune system response, in terms of decreased inflammatory response, in terms of stem cell signaling and angiogenesis, rebuilding these new capillary beds. It's about this massive increase followed by this release of oxygen, followed by another massive increase, followed by another release. So how do we get this massive uptake of oxygen? Right now at the surface, I'm at sea level, so I'm at one atmosphere. You may be at one atmosphere, or if you're at elevation, you're at less than one atmosphere. All of the oxygen carrying capacity you have right now is based on your ability for your red blood cells to absorb oxygen at the lung level, and then deliver oxygen at the cellular level. So if you're at the surface and all of your oxygen carrying absorption and delivery is based on red blood cell capacity and delivery, when you breathe in oxygen from a green tank, you're going to saturate your red blood cells for sure. However, if your lungs are healthy and your heart is healthy and you put a pulse oximeter on your finger, then you're already nearly 100% saturated with oxygen, meaning you might have 1% or 2% more room for oxygen to be bound to those red blood cells. So if you're breathing enriched oxygen at the surface, you could probably get that 1% to 3% of increased oxygen carrying. Hyperbaric changes atmospheric pressure in your environment temporarily. So when you go inside of a chamber, the whole purpose of that is to pressurize the chamber. Pressurizing the chamber is creating a temporary increased atmospheric pressure while you're inside that chamber. What that actually does is that bypasses red blood cell carrying capacity altogether. Meaning, instead of just saturating red blood cells like you and I are right now, or really fully saturating those red blood cells if we were breathing enriched oxygen at the surface, what we're actually going to do is we're going to dissolve increased oxygen molecules into the liquid plasma of your blood. That is not possible under normal atmospheric conditions. And so the whole purpose of being inside of a chamber, being pressurized, and then breathing a higher level of oxygen inside that chamber is your plasma, which normally carries very little oxygen, becomes a reservoir of carrying almost unlimited amounts of oxygen based on the pressure you're being exposed to, the percentage of oxygen that you're breathing, how long you're staying in the chamber, and then, of course, your frequency of sessions over time. That's going to create a five-fold, eight-fold, 12-fold, 15-fold, 20-fold increase in oxygen. There's literally no other way to deliver that amount of oxygen into your system other than being in a pressurized environment. Am I saying that there's no benefit of breathing oxygen at the surface? Absolutely not. I think there's tremendous value of oxygen. In general, we could use oxygen from small increases of oxygen, which you might get, enriched oxygen at the surface, all the way to 100% oxygen at 2.5 or 2.8 atmospheres of pressure. And then there's an entire world in between those two extremes, all of which has benefit just depending on how do we apply those benefits to whatever your health concerns are or to whatever your health goals are. Our job is to deliver the right pressure and the right percentage of oxygen to help meet those needs. In most cases, surface oxygen is not sufficient. In a hospital setting where there's lung issues or heart issues, surface oxygen is more than sufficient. With severe emphysema, where you have very compromised gas exchange at the lung level due to destruction of the lung tissue, surface oxygen is very beneficial. But again, if your heart is basically healthy, your lungs are basically healthy, your red blood cells are mostly saturated, 90 plus percent saturated. It's really hard to create this super saturation and it's virtually impossible to create five times, eight times, 12 times the amount of oxygen without changing the pressure of your environment. And we do that by using a hyperbaric chamber.
So I hope that helps answer that question. Is surface oxygen good? Absolutely, there's a lot of great benefit. But for most of the health concerns and health goals of ourselves and our patients, we really do actually need that pressure to create the surplus of oxygen that's really going to make a change in terms of biochemistry, healing, regeneration, reduction of inflammation, and improved immune function. By the way, if you're new to this channel, we created a little playlist called HBOT 101, and that's gonna go into how does hyperbaric oxygen work, why does hyperbaric oxygen work, and ultimately, a lot more detail about the answers to this question are going to be found in that series. So after you watch this video, click on that link and take a look at that series so that you really get a lot more detail as far as how this whole process is really working on a cellular level. We'll see you next time on the next video.